Are you ready? Are you sure? For music trivia, three rounds in store. It's head to head. Who's going to war? Are you ready to settle the score? I said, Are you ready to settle the score? Hey, welcome in to Settle the Score. Uh, my name is Matt, and I am joined, as always, by the musical director on the show, the one and only Mr. Andy Merriweather. How are you, buddy? I'm good, thanks, Matt. How are you doing? Uh, not bad, not bad. Uh, everything end up okay on your end? Things uh, things where it seemed a little hairy there for a minute. Yeah, it's been a bit of a weird and rough day. Uh, but yeah, everything's fine. Uh, the little man trapped his finger in the door for the first time that's his first time in his 19 months that he's experienced that and it was just a case of um he just didn't sleep he didn't want to go to bed he just wanted hugs all the time so bedtime was a little bit later and then it was a lot of um hearing him scream and go up and cuddling him and i just knew we were better off just trying to settle him so uh yeah it, it was a little bit of a of a a washout tonight in terms of anything that we could have got done but he seems like he's settled now but a poor little swollen thumb he's not experienced that before uh very sweet he's addicted to opening and closing doors and now he's learned it's not always a fun there's a downside to that you gotta yeah, learn at yeah. some point yeah i watched a kid one time learn that fire is hot it's oh yeah like, you yeah. know what everybody got everybody has to learn that lessons at some point so <laughs> yeah so yeah it's been a bit of a an annoying night but uh also, it's kind of nice to comfort him sometimes. Nice to know he needs us still, being so independent and all. Learn He's to count to 10 on his own. 19 months. He's going to need yeah, you for no. a while. But I, I like yeah, that no. you already doom and gloom. Way to be very yeah. British on that. <laughs> He's so smart. He's so smart. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Anyway, yeah. All good. Thank you very much. And uh, yeah, I'm excited for today's show. And uh, all the usual garb. Do the comments and the uh, liking and all that stuff that people do. And let us know if you want to join the Patreon because we've had a new person come in. Actually, they're not a new person. They've just found out about this WhatsApp group and they came in and they absolutely killed it on context clues. So, um, yeah, if anyone wants to get involved in that, he actually sent me a message saying you didn't lie about the WhatsApp group in terms of the uh, how buzzy it was. Action. Yeah. 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 It was like 200 messages easily today. So, yeah. Um, yeah, it was good fun. So, yeah, let us know if you want to get involved with that and we'll tell you how. Yeah, please do. And then uh, for everybody that showed up to the live show, thank you so much. We appreciate that. It was the very fun, last yeah. minute. And we had a huge turnout for that. So thank you. And uh, you mentioned comments. We have a number of people that just put like for the algorithm in the comments. And we want to say thank you because we know you don't want to be part of the fan show, but you're just doing it to show your support and it helps. So our thanks to you. Yes. And, exactly. yeah. uh, all right. Cool. You ready to start today's show? Yes, let's do it. Um. We have a first. Oh, this yeah. This is a first for us. Not only is this man a comedian and actor that you've seen on a million different things, not only is he the writer of several books that are critically acclaimed, he is also a professor now at USC. So please help us welcome back to the show the one and only Mr. Wayne Fetterman. Professor Thank Fetterman, you, how are you? Thank, Thank you. Thank you. It's good. It's good to see you, Andy and Matt. Well, so what's up? <laughs> um, Wayne, Wayne, what do you um what do you profess? I teach a class on the book. I hope it, that's the book you bought. Uh it's called The History of Stand Up. Of, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the other books on string theory is that didn't sell well at all. But I did not buy that one though. No. Yeah, my physics <laughs> books never really sell, but that one did the stand-up book did and so USC approached me as like, would you like to teach a class based on this book, a general ed class? I was like, I'll give it a try. So it's very, it's very fun. Very fun. It's weird because they're so young, these kids, they've never, let alone heard of John, Johnny Carson. They've never heard of Jay Leno. Like it's really, they're young. And so they're all born like 2004 or something like that. And so to play them Richard Pryor for the first time or Lenny Bruce or George Carlin, it's really, it's, it's fun for me actually. So thanks for asking. That's really cool. And um, wait, where do they come from into a class about stand up? Like what is the, what are they majoring in? 
Well, it's everything. It's, it's uh, something called a GE class, which is, means general education. So it's something anyone can. Yeah. Sign so up. I have a lot of engineering students, a lot of journalism students. Not I was I thought it would be loaded with like actor types, but not really. It's mm -hmm. mainly from yeah, you know, computer science. Something there's a science to computers apparently. So <laughs> those guys, those kids are there, and uh, very cool. you know, it's fun. It's fun. We have a good That's time. That's really, really cool. I would definitely sign up to that class if it was. What? Oh, thanks, Andy. Yeah. That's pretty cool. How selective some of the quotes that you've got to use from Pryor and Carlin and Lenny are. <laughs> Just like know. this little small snippet. No, no, no. We're pretty good. We talk about language. Like, this, I would say this generation, that, that kind of language stuff is not a problem at all. There's just certain words that like slurs against people or they, like they, 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 they yeah. lose their mind over that, but there's, there's really no dirty language. They, they can't handle it all. Well, that's not bad then. It that's gives you a little bit more yeah. free yeah. reign. They don't want to hear the word WAP, you know, for an Italian guy. They, <laughs> they don't, don't want to like... digs at Italians. Come on. <laughs> they don't want to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> That's a classic. Come on. Of course. Of course. Of course. Um, all right. Well, your competitor today is a man mm -hmm. you know quite well. Uh, my mind entirely blanked on what to say next because there's just too many things. So please just help us welcome back to the show the one and only Mr. Jeff Snyder. <laughs> Woo! Wayne, you want me to take my shirt off? Would you recognize me better, shirtless? <laughs> Please, you're it is to weird to see that. you with your shirt on, considering how much you're, we. You're gonna have to explain that. <laughs> yes, we play basketball together, and I'm the I'm the guy who takes your shirt off because I'm yeah. I live these doors in my apartment all day blogging. I need the sun. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You do have yeah. a nice tan. It's solid tan. <laughs> you're welcome. You're welcome. Um, and Jeff, look, Wayne has his books for sale. You also have scripts for sale. So if anybody wants to hit you up, it's what, at the Insider? You got scripts for days? That's right. All kinds of scripts. If anyone needs a teleplay of Malcolm in the Middle, season five, let me know. <laughs> Hot seller? Oh, yeah. Just flying <laughs> off the <shelves. laughs> Oh, perfect. We'll hit him up at the Insider. He's got a stack of scripts. Um, all right, gentlemen, are we ready to play today's game? Let's settle the score. Let's nice. do it. All right, gentlemen, here is the bell for round number one. Marty. I cut you off. I apologize. No problem. Uh, <laughs> all right. So in this opening round, the way it works is Jeff will have first choice. It's one through five. Once he makes his selection, I will give a clue and Andy will begin playing. When either of you think you know the answer, buzz in with your name. I'll call on you. And you're guessing the movie itself. So don't worry about the title of the song. It's worth 10 points. There's a bonus question worth five points, but I'll give you the rules of that when we come to it. So Jeff, one through five, where would you like to begin? And this is at all categories. Uh, it's the, the, the ones we discussed. I'll go ahead and tell you up front because we probably should have talked about it off air. 70s and 90s, dramas and comedies. Okay. And there's technically one from the 60s. Love hmm. it. Sounds good. Uh, I'm going to go <laughs> with number three, because that's what Wayne Fetterman specializes in, shooting that three ball. <laughs> He's got the new one-footed Dirk from the elbow as well. Um, He's the greatest warm-up shooter of all time. Thank you. Um, all right, gentlemen, your clue for number three, then, is don't forget to tip your weight staff. Don't forget to tip your weight staff. Jeff. Reservoir Dogs. That is correct for 10 points. And we were just talking about that. You did. Oh. You just brought it up. And I was like, wow, what are the odds? That's amazing. Okay. Um, all right. So that gives Jeff the early lead 10 to nothing. Bonus question time. Now, Jeff, you have a choice. You can go it alone. It's worth five points. But if you get it wrong, you'll lose the five points. Otherwise, you can open up to you and Wayne and nobody will lose any points. But he can't cut into your lead. And just as a reminder, some of these are easy and some of these are hard. So my question is, do you want to be a dick or not? I definitely want to be a dick. You can make it as impossible as you want. <laughs> All right. As impossible as I want. Here's your question then. How many days 
was the movie filmed in? I'll give it to you if you're within 10. <laughs> How many days was it filmed in? How, How many in? days? Give it to you if you're within 10. 30. That is correct for five points. 35 days. 35. Nice. Nice job. Not so impossible. Okay. Uh, let's go with number five, please. All right. Number five it is. Your clue for number five is the late, late, late show. The late, late, late show. I've just closed my eyes again. Jeff. Jeff. Wayne's World. That is correct for 10 points. Oh, wow. Very good. Still tons of game. Still tons of game. But no, Jeff, of course, bonus of question. Course, of course. That's Dreamweaver is the name of that song, right? That is correct. Man, you I know, know that I don't get points, but I'm just. <laughs> I'll give you a one bonus point for that. Oh, wait, I didn't point. even know that was a possibility. Okay. It's look, you never know. It can happen. You never anymore. know. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I'm right, on the so board. I, I'm on the I can open up this bonus to everybody, right? Yes, you can. Okay, let's... Yeah, I don't, I don't think I want to lose five points if I'm wrong, so I think I will let Wayne in on this one. Thank All you. right, then. It's open to you both, so buzz in with your name if you think you have the answer. Here is your bonus question. In the scene decrying bowing to advertisers, name a single product that either Wayne or Garth shamelessly plug. Fetterman. Yes. Fetterman. Pepsi. That is correct for five points. Right. Nice job. That was the last of the products they plugged in that scene. Yeah, was that was Tide? a funny scene. That was, was a that? funny scene. Was Tide one of them or no? No, it's Pizza Hut, Doritos, Reebok. Oh, I almost said Domino's, so it's a good thing I didn't answer. Right. Mm -hmm. And then a blast from the past, Nuprin. <laughs> nice one. That was, nice. Some, that was a phenomenal scene. <laughs> That was a great scene. <laughs> that was phenomenal. Um, all right. Makes it uh, 25 to 6. Yes. <laughs> yes. Jeff, you got, the, you got the last music question right, which means you still have choice. One, two, or four? One. All right. Number. I know one. you keep saying buzz in with your name, but it's just say your name, right? There's say no your name. Buzz. Yeah, but okay. Buzz is more of the game show. I understand. I, I, you know, I'm I, would just say, I would just say Wayne Fetterman's more syllables. I know. Well, whoever guess. starts their name first. Yeah, I got so. it. I got it. I have no problem dealing with Fetterman over Wayne. Yep. Um, all right. Your clue for number one is toe in the line. Toe in the line. The man in me will do. Nearly any task As for compensation There's a little he would ask Take a woman like you To get through To the man in me Oh, what a wonderful feeling Just to know you I have a question. I have a question. Yes. We can stop. I have a question. Do <laughs> if I guess this wrong, do I lose points? You do not. All right, I'm gonna guess then. Fetterman. Go ahead. Footloose? Incorrect. Okay. Incorrect. I didn't think yes. that was right, but <laughs> keep going. So what happens now? You keep well, Jeff can guess now, or I can give a second clue, but if I give a second clue, both of you can guess again. Oh, okay. Interesting. What do you oh, want, yeah. Jeff? Uh yeah, I'm, I don't have a guess, so you can keep going. Um, all right. I'll give you the second clue. Uh, your second clue is get your mind out of the gutter. Get your mind out of the gutter. Point of clarification. If I guess this, do I lose points? You do not lose points. <laughs> okay. Just point of clarification. Yep. Then I <laughs> towing the line, toe toe towing the line. Get your foot out of the gutter in a song you've never heard of. 
Those are my clues. <laughs> <laughs> just mulling it in. The I definitely know the song. I just can't think you of. Do? You do? You do? Big woman like you. Do, 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 do. Yeah, yeah. But. Mm. I, I think you've stumped us. No movie. All so right, Andy gets one. the points. Does Andy get the points? <laughs> you know what? It's never happened. But <laughs> uh, give him the points. Give him the points. <laughs> I'll give you. I'll give you both one final clue, and then if nobody has it, then we'll move. We'll give okay, Andy yeah, the points. One more final clue. Okay. One more final clue. <laughs> okay, here we go. Um, your final clue is that's how I roll. That's how I roll. Get your mind out of the gutter and toe. Jeff. Jeff. Jeff, the big Lebowski. That is correct for 10 yeah, points. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. He just stole the points from Andy. <laughs> yeah. Andy's having a tough day. His kid's crying. Uh, Jeff. I, will, I will open up the bonus question to Wayne and I. It's, thank it's you. Not... Thank you, Jeff. Thank you. All right. Open to you both. Here's your bonus question. Who plays Bunny Lebowski? Jeff. Jeff. Tara Reed. That is correct for five points. Nice. That's a good one. He deserves the points. That's good. That is good. You guys ever, did, you, did I tell you guys my Tara Reed story? No. What is no. it? Okay. I, th I think this was it. It was, we, we I spent like, uh, I think I was at Elton John's Oscar party, like covering it for a variety. Or, it was one of these events, something like that. And uh, I spent all night talking to Tara Reed. She was like, Kind of wasted, uh, and I thought no. we hit it. Yeah, I thought we hit it off. I, she was, I, you know, there was a connection. So, uh, end of the night comes. I'm, I'm like, you know, oh my god, like, could I like make a move here on Tara Reed? And her friends ushered her out of there. They were like, no, 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 Tara's come with us. She left. I see her again a night or two later at the Wild Hogs premiere, and I go up to Tara Reed and I'm like, hey, like, how's it going? You know, we had a great time talking to you the other night. No idea who I was. Uh -huh. Didn't nice. remember at all. <laughs> well, I think that confirms your suspicion that maybe she had had a couple too many. Probably. Yeah. Right. Um, all right. Makes it 40 to six right now. And Jeff, you have your choice of two or four. Two. Uh, two. All right. Your clue comes to us from our patron Troy. Oh, and it is holy can only. Holy can only. I know you belong. Oh, Fetterman. 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 Is it the jerk? It is the jerk for 10 points. Nice one. Thanks, man. <laughs> Oh, because they shot those cans in the thing? Yeah. yeah the, the oil. Okay, okay. The clue was not. Andy was the, the big help on that one. Yeah. Well, you know, listen, either way, you got I'm gonna. To. I'm going to open it. By the way, I'll open it up for Jeff as well. He was kind enough to do that for me. Oh, you didn't have to. I mean, it doesn't I, matter. Come on. I'm, 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 <laughs> come on. All right, let's go. All right. It's open to you both then. Here's your bonus question. What Hollywood icon... And Ocean's Eleven star directed the jerk. Jeff. I got it. Jeff. Oh, Carl Reiner? That is correct for five points. That's bad. Gotta be quick, Fetterman. No, it's just when he said Hollywood icon, immediately I was like, well, it can't be Carl Reiner because he's not a more television icon. I, 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 television it's is Hollywood. Hollywood. It's all right. I blew it. I blew it. Jeff got it. Jeff got it. Yeah. <laughs> Um, who, all right. I know Makes who it. wrote that movie. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I know who wrote it. <laughs> who wrote it? Um, Steve Martin and Carl Gottlieb. You know what? Bonus point. Who also one. wrote a movie <laughs> called Jaws? I don't <laughs> know if you know. I don't know if you know the movie Jaws. He also wrote that. Yeah. Um, all right. So with that bonus point, it makes it forty-five to seventeen. All right. Uh, we have one left in the opening round jeff you don't even get to say the number just do it right because yeah straight to it right. yeah just cut him out of the equation of elimination um and your clue is a hybrid between two of our patients uh patrons troy and juan and it is 
The festival, baby. The festival, baby. So I just did me some talking to the sun. And I said I didn't like the ah, way. Ah, Fetterman. You... Fetterman. Butch Cassidy and a Sundance Kid? That is correct for 10 points. Yeah. How do you not know that, Jeff? That's you don't know that? Flow on the draw on these. Oh, yeah. I, I was well, like, too easy. I was like, that can't, it can't be that. <laughs> like, okay. Okay, I'm going to oh. open it up again. I'll give Jeff... Jeff deserves it. He deserves it. All right. <laughs> it's open to you both. Then uh, let me finish the whole thing. Yeah. After adjusting for inflation, according to oh, Box goodness. Office Mojo, where does Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid land in the top 100 of all time? So one through 100. The first person that guesses, I'll give it to you if you're within 15. The second person within seven. It's worth 10 points if you go first. Five points if you go second, but I'll tell you if you go second, I'll tell you if the first person was high or low if they miss it. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. Go for it. Just so I had to get this within 10, adjusted for within 15. Within 15. Within 15 of the all time 100. Top 100 of all time. Where does it land within 15? Is this adjusted for inflation or not? Adjusted for inflation. Yes, it is. 72. Incorrect. Jeff, I'll go. Hold on, I'll tell you. He was high. Gonna, you're going to find high or low. You're going to find yeah, high. He or was low. high. When you say high, so the number the is, number will be lower. Crack 15 from that and it's well, that's lower than 72 or like what is lower, you Correct. know what I mean? His guess was his guess was high as to where the number is on 1 through 100, so it was too high. So it would be lower. I'm aka shocked. high be a higher number. Or pardon I'm me. Say fifty-seven. Uh, that is also incorrect, but you were close. It's forty. It's number forty. That's the fortieth biggest movie of all time, adjusted for inflation. It made over a hundred million dollars in nineteen sixty-nine. So wow. you think about it in today's. You're like, yeah, that made a lot of money. I'm still surprised. I still would have definitely. I wouldn't have even put in the top 100. I'm very. I'm shocked. Yeah, I am surprised also. I am surprised also. I would think like something like The Sound of Music would be up there. Okay, right. let's keep going. I'm sure it's on that list. Yeah, yeah. Um. All right. So that ends round number one. It's 45 to 27 right now. Okay. Here is the bell for round number two. All right, so this is the five-second round. It's basically the same as the first. So, Wayne, you'll be going first on this one, one through five. Once you make your selection, I'll give a clue, and Andy will just play a five-second snippet of the song. And then I just have to guess the song or the movie. No, still the movie. It, it's okay. open to you both, just like okay. the first round, but it's only five seconds at a time. If either of you can answer it in the first five of music, it's worth 10 points. If we have to go to a second five of music, it's worth five points. So this is just a song from a movie. Correct. Got it. I'm ready to go. And you know how I always, you know, my rule on this. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. So we're going to start with one. All right. I had that written down. Wayne's yeah, rule. Yeah, that's my move. That's my move. <laughs> it always starts with number one. Well, let me just. Okay. I'm listening. All right. Uh, number one, it is, and your clue for number one, this is open to you both. Just your clue is them's the breaks. Them's the breaks. Fat guy in a little coat. Yep. Tommy boy. That is correct for 10 points. Nice. nice. Yeah. Andy, that was awesome. That was awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Well, can I throw him a couple of my points? Because he's doing a great job tonight. They're your points to do with as you please. Okay, I might do that. All right. Yeah. Yeah, just let me know. I, let me know. I'm gonna be a dick on this one, Matt. Uh, there is no bonus question. So what are what? you gonna be a dick about? Not in the yeah. second round. How many times have you been on the show? I know. I <laughs> even I knew that. Even I knew that. <laughs> exactly. All right, let's go. Let's go. So I do number two now. Well, it's Jeff's choice. Oh, it's Jeff has it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You would I'm like sorry. me to do number two. <laughs> no, you? Do whatever you want. Do your own thing. Number two works for me, and I'm going for three. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Three it is. Mixing things up. I like it. You went all odds last round to start off, Jeff. Right. So let's see if he sticks with that. Who knows? Yep. 
Um, all right, number three, it is your clue is got milk. Got milk. Got milk. <laughs> I'm singing in the yeah. just Jeff. A clockwork orange. That is correct oh, for yes, 10 nice. points. Nice. nice. Did you scream? Was there a scream in the middle of that? Yeah, just a little yeah. sound effect. <laughs> yeah, I got it. Okay. <laughs> That's spooky. <laughs> um, all right, Jeff. Stanley Kubrick. Stanley Kubrick. Five. Five. He's sticking with the odds. The odds. I like I'm, it. I'm odd. I'm the half of the odd couple. <laughs> Who's the other half? And Draco. Sure, sure. Um, all right. Number five, your clue comes to us from patron Eric Grebner, and it is get them to the Greek. That's Grebner, get, right? Grebner. Yeah, yeah. Uh, get them to the Greek. Don't forget to say you will. Don't forget to say Oh, I got it. I better man. Better man. Better man. Oh, Jeff got it? Oh. Ah, uh, that is incorrect. Fetterman. I'm going to say Animal House. That is correct right, for man. 10 points. Yeah, I was like between the two of them. I was yeah, like, oh. Jeff, you knew that. <laughs> I knew that. Oh, yeah, with Greek, the Animal House. Oh, yeah, gosh. yeah, 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 yeah. That was... was that, you you were far story. off. Don't hear this episode. <laughs> <laughs> You're we're winning. You're winning this thing. Um, all right, makes it 65 37. Wayne, you know sure. where I'm going, you know where I'm Number going. Number two, yep. Um, all right, <laughs> Number, two. <laughs> Number two, it is your clue. Oh, wait, hold on, I'm hearing Andy. music before clue. Is that the music for just the He's number two? Doing. No, I, I, I was I was prepping. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> yeah, he normally mutes as he goes through it. Really I know quickly. he's he's unraveling, Andy. Yeah, What's yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, your clue for number two. Yeah, comes to us from patron Matt Scanlon, and it is he gets a little carried away. He gets a little carried away when the truth is found to be yes. lie. What was that? You got a cable guy. That is correct for 10 yeah. points. Went to the premiere of that movie. Did you really? You're the fucking coolest, Wayne. <laughs> God damn. It's How was guy. it? It's pretty good. It's pretty, I like that. I like dark comedy. So were you, were you one, a, a guest of Judd? I think so. Yeah, yeah. It was really good. It was really fun. Very cool. Um, all right. So we have one left. In the second round, and ahead, your... Jeff. Jeff doesn't get to guess because it's there's only one left. <laughs> you're just you're icing him out. No, I'm just saying it's it's elimination. Um. Well, technically, it's still open to you both. No, I meant he doesn't get to guess what number <laughs> or say what number. Oh, yeah. I apologize. Yeah. I, I thought you were putting one. the hammer down. You're like, you know no, what? I couldn't Snyder yes. out. Sorry. No. No. Not at all. <laughs> um. All right, your clue uh, comes from yeah. patron Eric Grebner, and it is. Wait, you didn't he do another one before Grebner? Yeah, it, it, we have a bunch of patrons. How much before. money is Grebner throwing you guys? <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't pay per clue. It's just oh, I see. <laughs> like uh, well, that Ibert's Scanlon only gets one. Grebner is like all over the place. It just depends. <laughs> it's it's right. Exactly right. Yeah. Grebner submitted a lot for the show. These are okay. a lot of movies in his we wheelhouse. Appreciate him. Deep pockets Grebner, we call him. Okay, <laughs> let's do it. Let's do uh, it. All right. Your clue is Yeah. You say you want a revelation. Oh, no. You say you want a revelation. When you're chewing on life's gristle, don't crumble. Give a whistle. You guys want to hear that again? Yes. Yeah, I want to hear it again. <laughs> when you're chewing on life's gristle, don't grumble. Give a whistle. Yeah, I'm going to take a guess. I'm going to take a guess. Go for it, Fetterman. Life of Brian? That is correct for 10 points. Wow. Okay. That sounds like something. Oh, like I've only seen that movie once in my life. I don't know the song, but 
Yeah, yeah. That sounds like some Eric Idle stuff, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Literally yeah. was an Eric Idle impression. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, all right. That ends round number two. It's 75 to 47. Okay. Still anybody's ball game. Here's your bell for round number three. Can I say that all the bells sound identical? <laughs> I don't know how many boxing matches you've seen. They don't change the bell. The bell they don't. Okay, the so the bell for one is the same as the round one. There's a so, different okay. graphic up there. It says round one, round two, oh, okay, round okay, three. Okay, okay. All right. I was, all right. I got that's it. a good point. Maybe we'll change the pitch ever so slightly for each round. People are like, oh, this is obviously we're in round three. All right, let's keep going. Ain't no <laughs> We'll do the old like sound effect Ooh, uh, for like round three or something. <laughs> Let you know. Um, all right. So this is our betting round. Jeff, you're in first place, which means you'll have opening choice. Once you make your selection one through five, I'll give the clue. And Jeff, you will open the bidding with the number of notes that you think you can guess this movie in. Four is the minimum. The max is however many you'd like it to be. Once Jeff sets his opening bid, then we'll go over to Wayne, and Wayne can bid one note lower all the way down to zero. And we just go back and forth until one of you tells the other to settle the score. And at that point, that person is answering alone. Got the it. point values are at 10 notes and up, it's worth 10 points. Six to nine notes, it's worth 15. Three to five notes, it's worth 20. And zero to two notes, it's worth 25. If you get the question wrong, your opponent automatically gets the points. You each have a lifeline to ask for a second clue, but you only have one of those. And finally, if you get the question wrong or your opponent gets the question wrong and you think you know the answer, you can double down on it. And if you get the question right, you double the points available. But if you get it wrong, you get nothing. So if you, anybody needs... A refresher on that or a point of clarification at any point, just let me know. Uh, okay, Jeff, yeah. one through five, where do you want to start? We're going to mix it up and we're going to go with two. Because I already oh. know I'm get three and five. It's a given. Given. I All right. See, by the way, I can see Andy's cell phone. So I feel like I'm cheating here. Is that wrong? I can see it too. So. Okay. Yeah, well, what can you actually see? Yeah, I can't see that. anything on it. It's just a phone. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess we'll find out if Wayne goes down to zero every time and be like, I think it's amazing this is it. eyesight if you can read what's on that phone. <laughs> yeah, I I can't. All right. Um, all right, two Jeff, you'll open the bidding. Your clue is comes through us from Matt Scanlon. So Scanlon had a second. Oh, he's back. Scanlon's help. back. Okay. Scanlon's okay. back. Okay. Uh, it, it is, I fought the law and the law won. I fought the law and the law won. So, Jeff, how many notes you want to open with? Four is the minimum. I can do that one, Matt. In a baker's dozen notes. All right. 13. 13. Wayne, over to you. You can say 12 notes all the way down to zero or go ahead and tell them to settle the score. I'm going to go six. Six Seven notes. Seven <laughs> was quick. All right, here we go. I got to have right. a punch. I know what this is. All right, it's worth 20 points. Yeah. You do have a lifeline if you want to ask for your uh, yeah. second clue, but you only have one of those. Right. So seven nine by the way, I'm just reading it right off this cell phone. So I think I got this. <laughs> <laughs> you got a great poker face. I can't really tell if you're lying or not. That's great. All right, um, let's go. All right. Your clue again is I fought the law and the law yeah. won. Here are your six notes. All right, it's not the movie I thought it was going to be. Um He's throwing you off the scent, Jeff. He totally can read that. And knows exactly what it is. <laughs> you can hear it as many times. Oh, as I, got I got it. I got it. I got it. Yeah, I'm going to guess. Go for it. Blazing Saddles. That is correct for 20 points. What? Yeah. 
Well, just like that, we got ourselves a ball game. It's 75 oh. to 67 right now. All right. All right. All yeah. right. Wayne, you now have choice one, three, four, or five. You know what it is. It's number one. Yes. I got to ask, though, you know? Yeah, I appreciate that. I appreciate going through the motions. Exactly. That's what we're both doing. Yeah, we're yeah, both, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're doing a little dance. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love it. Um, all right. Number one, it is your clue is mind your tone. Mind your tone. So, Wayne, you'll open the bidding. Four notes is the minimum. The max is however many you'd like it to be. I'm going to open with nine. Nine notes, making it worth 15 out the gate. Settle the score. Oh, my God, Jeff. On nine notes. All right. Let's do it. It's worth 15 What's... points. Your clue again is mind your tone. Yep. Okay, this can't be what it is. That's this can't be this easy, right? It could it be this easy? I I, I can't tell you one no, way. No, or the no, other. no, don't don't do anything. I'm just trying to think if this used in any other like a comedic movie where they used this is a joke. It's written right there, Wayne. Written right there. Yeah, okay, let me read it. Oh, that's <laughs> well, the phone says close encounters of the third kind, but that's my guess. That's your guess? <laughs> uh, that is correct for 15 points. I just read it. I just read it. Read it. <laughs> and just like that, Wayne has taken the lead. I'm going to blow this. I'm going to blow this. <laughs> Jeff, I, Jeff, I was like, I was kind of amazed at that one. That is like, that's too easy. That's, that is too uh -huh. easy. All, All right, right, keep going. Whatever the next in sequen sequential sequence is. Uh, the next in the sequential. By sequence the way, Andy, do you, do you know? Do you remember sequential circuits? Do you remember that those keyboards from back when? No, no, sorry. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's old, old time synth synthesizer. Can you, so let's keep going. You, can you put it in your next book, and I'll be sure to learn. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Let's keep going. Um, all right. The next one, uh, your clue is Usain Dolt. Usain Dolt. So, Wayne, how many notes you want to open with? Nine. Nine. Jeff. Settle the score. Settle the score again. <laughs> all right, Wayne, you do have your lifeline if you want to use it. Your clue no, again no, is. No, no, no. I don't need a lifeline. I can just Usain read it. Don't. Well, don't say that now. You never know. You never know. It's worth 15 points. No, I'm just reading the answer anyway. It doesn't matter. <laughs> that's, that's true. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble with this one. I think Jeff knows it. I believe um, Jeff on. does. Can he play it one more time or no? Yeah, you can play it as many times as you like. Yeah, yeah okay. Well, not as many. It's going to be 40. Let's do it again. 40 times. Okay, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to take it. To, I have to guess something, right? You do. You do have your I, lifeline if you wanted to use it. If you want a second clue. Yeah, let me have a second clue. Yeah. Okay. Just as a reminder, you only have one of those. No, I know. I know. I know. Okay. I, know. All right. so I, I thought it was going to be something with that yeah. clue and it's not. No. All right. So Andy's going to read through the list of clues and give you your second one. Okay. Um, and your first one, once again, was Usain Dolt. Usain Dolt. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm going to bankrupt Matt Scanlon and use one of his clues again. <laughs> Scandalous. Uh, <laughs> uh, and I think we've used this clue before, but I feel confident that um, Wayne and Jeff uh, haven't heard it before. Whatever, I think I know what it is, and if I don't, all I know is I've seen this movie a thousand times. Okay, okay cool. Uh, so your lifeline clue, Wayne, is the bench warmer. 
the bench warmer. Mm-hmm. Now I have to think of a movie Jeff has seen a thousand times. <laughs> Extra clue. Yeah, that's true. Just pile it Okay, on. I have a guess. What's your guess? The Water Boy? Incorrect. I'll double, I'll double down. No hesitation from Jeff. He's doubling down on that. What's your guess, sir? Forrest Gump? That is correct for 30 what? points. What? 30 points. That's the theme to Forrest Gump? Yeah. yeah. Uh, good one, Jeff. Good one. I was worried it was actually big. Yeah, it's a good it theme. None of, none of that is in my brain. Okay, that's interesting. I've seen that movie once, by the way. <laughs> well, Jeff's seen it. 999 <laughs> times four. Oh, I know. I've it's my favorite movie, movie. Forrest Gump. It, it is? Oh, good one. Good one. Good good poll. Good poll. <laughs> All right. So that makes it 105 to 82 with his double down 30 point yeah. swing right there. Of course. Of course. All right, Jeff, you have two options four or five. Four, please. Four, it is. Your clue is. Personal demons. Personal demons. Fifteen. Fifteen notes. Wayne, over to you. Seven. Seven. Got on the score. All right. We're 15 points once again. And I know I can't do a lifeline. I know I can't. You can't cannot do, do your lifeline. No. Yeah. 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 I can tell all by, by the way he's practicing. I think I know what this is. <laughs> nice. Because I'm a musician. I, I see where he is. I think I know what this is. Yeah, you're the first person to take advantage of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I think I got this. Keep going. All right, go ahead. For the record, I didn't start practicing until after it was settled. Yeah, score. no, I know, I know, I know, I know. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Okay. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it right away. Yeah. I did. So funny. It's the exorcist, but I was going to, <laughs> I was going to guess that with no clues based on that. But then when I saw him way up there at the top of the, I was like, that's gotta be too clear. Cause he was going kind what, of back and forth. What is game. the score now? It's one Oh five to 99. Wow. You're still in the lead. You're still in the lead. Oh, pardon me. Yeah. One Oh five to 97. My apologize. Okay. 97, 97, 97 not 99. Doesn't matter. So Jeff Jeez. has the lead right now. We have Last one left. Question. Last question. So the the Wayne's two bonus points uh, have, a, have essentially ruled out any chance at a tie break. So I don't need to be yes. scrambling for an extra score. Right? Where, where, where uh, did these, these bonus points come from? These are a game. <laughs> Actually, unless unless Wayne, you stick to your original. Uh, sort of a gift of uh, I'll take those two points from you uh, as a you know give them just I'll give them to you all right if it, yeah. if it ends up a and tie, a chance take, a tie if there's a then... chance of a tie I will take away the bonus points to make it a tie I will yeah then we'll go to sudden death if that's the case yeah 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 I like right, it okay. I like my first two points the the really worth, 10, worth 15 the way Fetterman's betting he's betting like freaking Phil Ivy over here <laughs> Going all in at all times. I, I I should have gone all in on that, but uh, I should have gone two notes. That would have been good. Okay, let's keep going. <laughs> um, all right, so your clue for this final one, and Wayne, you'll open right. the bidding, Yeah, is comes to us from Eric Grebner again. Cha-ching. <laughs> Thank you, Grebs. Deep pocket, Grebner. Yeah. I like this yep. new system you've created. Now we select and be like, no, Remember, make sure you watch my podcast, the hot like <laughs> four o'clock with John Rogue on Thursdays. Um, your clue is babbling Brooks, babbling Brooks, plural Brooks, right? I can only give the clue. Yeah, I understand. Okay. So how many notes would you like to open with? Give me a second. Give me a second. Uh, 
Nine. Wayne says, fuck your tie. I'm going for the win. Nine. Jeff, over to you. <laughs> I wasn't eight. even thinking along those lines. Do you say eight. eight? All right. Jeff says eight. Seven. Seven. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Settle the score. All right. All right. This is going to be on seven notes. Your clue again is babbling. If I lose this game, it comes down to that horrible, horrible Blues Brothers versus Animal House. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's true. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Seven notes. Yeah. Yep. Mm hmm. Is this gonna be easy, Andy? Uh, no comment. Okay, here we go. Now, yeah. one more time. Adeline. Brooks. Sure. Yeah, it's not what I thought it was. So I'm, I'm, I'm in bad. I'm, yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, I'm going to take a crazy, stupid guess. This is. Crazy stupid. Sure. <laughs> the river? Incorrect. Yeah, I didn't Incorrect. Right. I didn't. What, well, what's the answer? I'm very curious. Do you know? You don't want to take a guess? What's, what's, the, second down? what's the second clue? Oh, Andy, if you, what would you, you give as a lifeline clue? Uh, so Jeff wins. Because he got the points on this. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course, of course. Yeah, I like. Um, yeah. I I don't see it on there now. I like uh, Joe Farrelly's clue. It might have been deleted because it's, it's been on used. the bottom. Oh yeah. Um, what a load of shit. We used that last time. That's why. I yeah. Took it off. Any idea, Jeff? Oh. Uh, Madeline uh, Brooks. Jurassic and Park. Park. Jurassic Park. Yes. No. But the shit, I can see where your mind yeah, goes yeah, to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the babbling brook, sure. Uh, it's Shawshank Redemption. Ah, my it's least so, favorite movie. It's like, yeah. I was thinking like a road to perdition kind of yeah, thing. It's got Thomas that vibe Newman. to it, yeah. Yeah, it's Thomas Newman. Like, uh, yeah. What is the river? Babbling the brook. River? Brooks was the old guy that got let out. He would talk to that crow. Yes. Yeah, but what, what, what is, what's the yes, river of the movie? Yes, yes. Yeah, that's yep. a great clue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I was thinking uh, when you, when I got that clue, I was thinking one flew over the cuckoo's nest because I thought one of the guys was named Brooks. But yeah, it, yeah no, that, that was stupid. Right. Matt, that was a good clue. That was a, I should have known that. I should have known that. Wait, even that though is I, the river. Oh, the river is a Meryl Streep movie with um. It's yeah. oh, the River Wild. The River Wild. Is that not? The river oh, Wild? is it called the River? I don't even. It's probably not even called the River. I think it's called the River Wild. It doesn't matter. I. I yeah. It, it just got remade. Really and John yeah. C. Riley. Yeah. Yeah. Oh really. Yeah. Bacon and Riley. That's right. That's well, that right. was fun, guys. We that was. That was a, you had me sweating, Wayne. No, I. Like, that came down to the last shot. All right. It did. All right. It did. And Jeff's shirt stayed on. I figured once it, the temperature <laughs> got hot, that shirt was coming off. Uh, congratulations, Jeff. You are today's Congrats, champion. Congrats, Jeff. Nice work. Thank you. Good. Um, hell, of a, a hell of a match. Thank you. It was an honor. Thank you. Thank you. Well, as, as champ, man, the floor is yours. Plug, promote, say whatever you like. Guys, I'm unemployed. <laughs> I quit my job because my boss stopped paying me. Uh, so hire me if you hire freelance writers. If you need a dog walker, a house sitter, a babysitter, I can be trusted around children. Um, not Tara Reid, though, apparently. Uh, <laughs> yeah, lamag.com, the insider on Twitter. What else can I say? Thank you very much. Hit him up. And if you want those scripts, he legitimately has scripts right. for sale. Not PDFs, actual physical copies. Yeah, hard right? copy that he got from the production company. This isn't a print job off, you know, something online. This is legit. Andy, great uh, piano playing. Brother. Thanks, Wayne. Appreciate that. And thanks yeah. for my points. My first ever You're points. welcome. <laughs>
They're all yours. They're all I go give them. I can give them all away now that I have no. <laughs> <laughs> Just bequeath them all that, Andy. Is that of what you're course. saying? Why not? Why not? All 97 not? points to Andy. Look at that. You had a good day, Andy. Why yeah, not? not bad. Might, might have got me in the top 20 of all time. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, all Wayne, right. What do I do now? Plug, promote, say whatever you oh. like. But. Well, I didn't win. I thought I know, but uh, well, Jeff just gets, uh... goes first as honor of champion. All right, let's see. I would say that I I did a little role in this season's of uh, what we do in the shadows. Nice. Okay. And where I play a vampire doctor who fights Nadja. That's all I can tell you. That's all I can tell all right. you. Anyone knows that? Fight Jeff? Scene? That's amazing. I have a fight scene. I have a fight scene. Yeah. Is that, that's got to be your first fight scene, is it not? Yeah, I mean, I did fight with that dog in um, Step Brothers when I was okay. the blind neighbor. Uh, yes, but besides that, yeah. And I also fight verbally with Larry David a couple times. I spar with him on that show. I don't remember the name of it, but he stars in it. Um, so, so anyway. <laughs> uh, oh, that yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, small yeah, little so, show that he's got. If yeah, yeah, that little it. show that Larry yeah, does yeah, on yeah. Hey, it does on pay cable. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A, Who's you know. got the money for that? You know, right, right, right. Paying Scandal. for cable, Scandal. It's crazy. Uh, that's it. Thank you guys for having me. It's always fun, and I'm so glad Jeff was able to do it. He's so smart with movie trivia that I'm even in anywhere near him is like feels it, great for me. It listen. It very clearly, if you look at the breakdown, I got the '90s questions and you got the '70s questions. I know, <laughs> pretty much. I tried to go as even a split as I could between. The no, two. it was good. I have to say, and, and there was a, some some sixties questions in there, right? Isn't there was uh, one? Butch Cassidy is sixty nine, right? And right, yeah, that's, that's right the on the one right every, on the cusp. The yeah, everything one, else I was a stickler about, but I was like, yeah, yeah very good, very good, very good. I was enough. thinking about um, the bowling one was the gutter question, like that was how Lebowski? I didn't get that. Yeah, Big Lebowski was so stupid, but again. <laughs> Like Forrest Gump, I've seen once. Like, uh, like Shawshank, I've seen three times just because I like to hate watch it. So it's. Could be the only person I know that hate watches Shawshank. I know people think it's a good movie. It's weird. So bizarre to me. Not people. <laughs> like, it's always like near Everyone. the top of that IMDb list. Yeah. Right, Jeff? Yeah, yeah. It's a universally beloved movie. Beloved movie. It's like yeah. the Wizard of Oz or something. I don't know. <laughs> I just think it's not good. All right. I'll agree with you on Forrest Gump. I don't think that holds up, but Shawshank, I am a fan. All right. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing that three hour and 26 movie, 26 minute movie from uh, uh, Martin Scorsese. Well, keep your eyes peeled. Um, yeah. All right, gentlemen. Uh, well, thank you so much for joining us today. Congratulations, Jeff. Andy, great job there. again. Thank you, Jeff. Good to see you again. All right, guys. Uh, Andy, anything you want to say before we get out of here? Uh, buy Wayne's book. The history oh, of stand up is 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 so good. And uh, and um, yeah, uh, da, 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 da. yeah. I'll be at the London Film Festival this weekend, and I can't ask for recommendations because this episode will air when I'm already back. But it's going to be a lot of fun, and I'll report on how we got on. Um, but yeah, that was a lot of fun. Thank you both. Um, yeah, That's all right. For me, I think. There it is. Well, we'll have both of their uh, social media handles in the description below. So hit them up and uh, let them know you enjoyed them on today's show. And that is it for this week's Settle the Score. You can follow Andy at STS underscore Andy M. And you can follow me at Madnos. We'll see you guys next week with another new episode. Until then, adios.